Um, Jerry, that was a good one. Jerry writes and asks, he says, uh, uh, let's see, is there any way to block my work router from seeing what I am browsing? They block sites like Apple, uh, so it's nothing bad, but I want to browse. Is there any way of changing a setting on my Mac to do that, or do I have to use a VPN? So I, I think you could try changing the DNS servers of your Mac to use something not being the ones that are provided by your router. So you'd go into your Mac, you'd go into system preferences, network, whatever uh, interface you're using, either Ethernet or Wi-Fi, go into advanced or just go into DNS. Ethernet doesn't really have the advanced button the same way Wi-Fi does. But get yourself into that advanced mode, click the DNS tab and change your DNS servers to something like 8.8.8.8, which is Google's, or 1.1.1.1, which is Cloudflare's. I think I have that right. And uh, and see if that helps you. If it does, then that's how they're blocking it, and they're doing it by DNS, and, and now you've gotten around it. Whether or not that's copacetic with your employer, I'll leave between you and them. Um, but uh, I think you're going to need a VPN to do this. And so, uh, you know, if you were going to... If, if you're going to go with a VPN and it's funny in pre-show, we were talking about this. Um, I, it, you know, a paid VPN is going to be better for a variety of reasons. A, you're probably, probably going to get a higher quality of service. You're uh, almost certainly going to be able to find a paid VPN that does not track your usage and sell your usage uh, to make money. Cause everybody needs to at least cover their costs, if not make some money. And so if you're not, paying them, then you are the product, right? Uh, just good to remember. So, uh, so the, um, the, the VPNs that we pay for, you know, express VPN is not a sponsor anymore. They were, but I found out this week cause I signed up for them, uh, again, is that expressvpn.com slash MGG does still get you extra three months, uh, when you buy a year which I just did this week. So, so that's one way to go. Nord VPN is another great one. Um, as far as paid VPNs go, if you don't want to pay for a VPN, there are a few free VPNs that I have messed with, um, and used quite a bit over the years that do work. And, and really I've narrowed it down to two that I will use. Um, Proton VPN is, probably going to be the best of these, although it might not get you what you want because they have some limits on how their free VPN works, but they are very much a freemium offering in that they offer a free tier with limits and then an option to pay to remove those limits. So you're, you're working with a reputable VPN vendor, right? That's probably not. In fact, I'm almost certain that Proton's not selling your data. So th that's one is Proton VPN. And then the truly free VPN where you should um, expect to have your data sold uh, or at least tracked or something along those lines uh, is list VPN at listvpn.net. Uh, the, but the, part of the way they make money is ads on their website. And part of the way they get you to go to their website is that you the free account you create is only good for five days. So you have to go every five days and create a new account. Now, it's really not that big of a deal. It takes all about 30 seconds to, you know, go through and, and create the account, but then you are visiting their website. You are, you know, letting them show you their ads. And, and so they are making money that way. I don't know if they're making money other ways. So just bear that in mind. But, um, but those are the two free VPNs that not only would I recommend again with eyes wide open, but also that I have personally used quite a bit and, and they work, but I will tell you that moving from, Either of those up to ExpressVPN uh, speeds on ExpressVPN are like 10 times what I was getting with the free VPN. So if speeds like if it's just for browsing or whatever, fine. If it's for, you know, any sort of downloading or file transfers in either direction, uh, you, you, you know, probably worth paying. What did I pay for ExpressVPN? Like 100 bucks for the year, 100 bucks for 15 months because I used the old. Um, I don't know why they haven't expired it, but ExpressVPN.com slash MGG works. So, hey. It's good.